Hello everyone. Welcome to another awesome and interesting video from Kai5. Scientists have discovered a really unusual parasitic fungus that forces cicadas to have sex with each other in hyperdrive mode and thereafter leaves them dismembered and dead. The fungus attacks the brood X periodical cicadas, which are found in 15 American states across the East Coast and Midwest parts of America. This species of cicada spends 17 years of its life underground. During the short time that they spend above the ground, they shed their skins and spend four to six weeks mating. Thereafter, the females lay eggs and they all die soon after. However, now some cicadas are living wilder lives during their short span above the ground. A fungus called Massospora, which can produce compounds of cathinin and amphetamine, infects a small number of cicadas and makes them lose control of themselves. Believe it or not, but the fungus actually takes over their bodies, causing them to lose their lower abdomen and genitals. And it pushes their mating into hyperdrive. In an interview with NPR, Matthew Casson, an associate professor of forest pathology and mycology at West Virginia University, says, This is stranger than fiction, to have something that's being manipulated by a fungus, to be hypersexual, and to have prolonged stamina, and just mate like crazy. Casson, who has been studying Massospora for about five years, says just before the cicadas rise from the ground, the spores of the fungus start to infect the bug. The fungus lies dormant in the soil until the cicada comes up. It recognizes a hormonal signal from the cicada itself. Once the cicada is above the ground, and starts to shed its skin to become an adult, the fungus dismembers its butt. That is, its backside simply falls off. And then, a white plug of fungus starts to grow in its place. It looks as if the backside of the cicada is being replaced either by chalk or by one of those pencil erasers. The insects have no idea what's happening to their bodies. The fungus, however, is pulling all the strings and making the cicadas want to mate with everyone. In other words, the insect has completely lost control over its mind and body, and yet has no idea of the same. Some researchers call these infected cicadas flying salt shakers of death. Massospora can even manipulate the insect to stay awake and continue to transmit the pathogen for longer. The fungus then forces the cicada to mate with whoever that is nearby. The mating process of the cicadas goes as follows, usually, the males croon loud songs to attract a mate. That's the endless buzzing we hear during the summer. If a female hears a song she likes, she responds by flicking her wings. Males that are infected will continue to mate with females, and shockingly, Massospora also manipulates male cicadas into flicking their wings like females to infect unsuspecting male cicadas. Obviously, it is a failed mating attempt because there's no genitalia back there. However, the fungus comfortably deposits itself onto the healthy unsuspecting male and female cicadas. Essentially, the fungus uses its host cicada to lure others into becoming infected because its healthy counterparts are interested in mating. The way Massospora attacks cicadas sounds like a horror film. The fungal spores eat away at the cicada's abdomen and genitals, depositing more spores to transmit to other cicadas like an STD. The cicada's body begin to decay. But rather than die immediately, they fly around and infect others. Because of the infection's mind-controlling abilities, the insects appear to behave as if nothing is wrong. Even though a third of their body has fallen off, infected cicadas continue to go about their activities, like mating and flying, as if nothing happened. Unbelievably, it is not uncommon for people to eat these cicadas for mind-altering experiences. According to a study by West Virginia University researchers, 
Massospora has chemicals similar to the ones found in hallucinogenic mushrooms. Also known as magic mushrooms. And therefore, some people believe that, since these infected cicadas contain amphetamines, it can give them some sort of a high. However, such practices are not recommended. Matthew Casson told CNN, if one of our limbs were taken out, or if our stomach was slashed open, we would probably be incapacitated. But infected cicadas, despite the fact that a third of their body has fallen off, continue to go about life as if nothing happened. This is really very unique for insect-killing fungi. As per researchers, cicadas do not experience much pain, they just have an insatiable desire to go, wham bam thank you ma'am. And there's no need to be concerned about humans infected by the zombies. Unlike murder hornets or mosquitoes, these zombie cicadas are generally harmless to humans. They're very docile. Researchers say. You can walk right up to one, pick it up to see if it has the fungus, a white to yellowish plug on its back end, and set it back down. They're not a major pest in any way. They're just a really interesting quirky insect that's developed a bizarre lifestyle. Due to their relatively slow rate of reproduction, the fungus does not present a major threat to the cicada population overall. But scientists still hope to discover how the pathogen developed and how it may be evolving to further terrorize other insect species. There are many more such examples in the animal world, there's one pathogen that needs water to further its life cycle, so it manipulates grasshoppers into committing suicide by hurling themselves into swimming pools. There are ants who brainlessly present themselves to hungry cows so their parasite can invade a mammalian host. And there are wasps and flies who essentially colonize caterpillars and transform them into zombie bodyguards that cart around larvae growing in their hollowed out bellies. Anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you had a good time. Please smash that like button and subscribe to this channel for more. Thank you and take care.